Hello everybody and welcome to my playthrough of SnowRunner. In the last episode we completed the first stage of cargo from the ship. So if you haven't watched that one, go and watch it now. Go on, I'll wait. Oh you have watched it, excellent, well let's get on. I am going to use the twin steer again, but this time I'm going to bring some added security. Namely, the white western star with a crane attachment. If I get into any tippy situations or lose my cargo, this will help me recover it. It will also keep my heart rate down and my blood pressure a bit lower than last time. OK, let's get loaded and make this difficult trek again. I am going to hit overdrive, but just before I do, there's something that happens to me along this trail that's never happened to me while I've been playing SnowRunner, so look out for that along the way. Please cue the overdrive. As you probably saw, the first part of the winch work was a little bit harder for me this time, I don't know why. The drop down to the river was much better, I knew what I was doing and didn't get myself into such a tippy situation. Now you might be wondering what I was talking about earlier, this is it. I got a puncher. I don't think I've ever had a puncher in SnowRunner before. As this hasn't happened to me before, I'm not sure what effect it will have on traction. But I suppose we're about to find out. 
I'll get back into overdrive and come back when we've climbed up the really steep hill. Now that was tough. I don't know whether that was me making a meal of it, or whether having that puncture lost me a lot of traction on that hill. But it was definitely tougher than last time. I'm gonna have to see if I can get this repaired before I start making the trip back through Smithfield Dam. I've got the White Western Star with the crane attachment in Smithfield Dam near the warehouse. So what I'll probably do is grab a repair trailer from the trailer store on the other side of the tunnel, if I can make it that far. If it becomes too much of a problem, I'll have to try and repair it on this side of the tunnel. For now though, I'm going to hit overdrive and I'll see you in a little while. So we've made it up to here, so I think I'll take some fuel on and then try and make it to the other side of the tunnel. I'm not thinking it will be too difficult, so I'll cut away here and come back when we're doing the rescue. I made it here okay without any problems. I also collected a repair truck with the White Western Star. I'm going to take on some fuel and then get the twin steer repaired.
let's get into position. The twin steer doesn't have the capability of towing trailers and you can't repair unless you're hooked up to repair trailer. So I've jumped in the White Western Star and now I should be able to repair. And that's all taken care of. So we'll transfer back into the twin steer and start making our way to the warehouse in Smithfield Dam. I'll hit overdrive so you can see the route and I'll see you at the warehouse.
Well, that's it. We're here. We just need to get round this corner. Though, I always seem to have an issue with it. So I'll probably have to back up and go round again. Oh, yes. Back up and try again. Should be able to make it this time. Cargo from the ship has been an intensely challenging contract. It takes some careful driving and a lot of winch work to pull it off. And I've got to say, the twin steer has been amazing for this one. It always felt really solid. I did have a couple of moments but the twin steer steered me right. Let's unload this final container. With that boatload of XP, I've climbed to rank 15. Coming up in the next couple of episodes, I'll be doing Cement for the Region and Super Order. Both of these award us with a massive amount of XP so I'm hoping to climb up the ranks even more. That's going to do it for this one. Thank you ever so much for watching, and I hope you join me for the next episode. Until then, take care, and bye for now. <laughs>